Welcome back people, it's another freezing cold day here in China and as you can see I've forgotten my sunglasses again so it's just going to have to be another review in the sun um, the weather is gorgeous to be fair so hopefully I can work on this white skin um, but I'm back today at like a, a noodle restaurant so this is a tang fern restaurant so they sell all kinds of um, noodle soups so you can have beef noodles, meatball noodles pork noodles, you can have chow fun, which is like fried noodles, you can have pretty much anything to do with noodles. And this kind of food is Guangdong's kind of staple food. Um, this, this is the cheapest kind of meal you can eat. It's super cheap, it costs about £1.50 for a large bowl. Um, today I'll be eating the Neo Nan Tang Fern, which is beef noodle soup. So I hope you enjoy it. So as you can see what we've got here, we have the beef here which is like so this is called the neon nan which is like a really fatty i think it's the beef brisket so this is the real fatty part of the beef um, it comes with a little bit of lettuce inside um, and it comes with some really thin noodles here and then the soup the soup is kind of made from garlic it has pepper in there it has spring onions in there in there so it's a really nice broth i think the actual broth is made from some sort of bone i'm not entirely sure um, and then this soup always comes with some spicy sauce, which is la jiao. And then there's two different kinds of la jiao. I'm not, I'm not too sure on what the difference is, but I know they're both real spicy. So I normally go for a little scoop of la jiao. To be honest, I normally overdo it every single time. But I do like spicy sauce. You put a little bit in there. Maybe we'll go for a little bit there as well. Two different kinds of lajang. And you gotta mix it in. And again, we're going for a try. You normally just scoop up the noodles like this, go straight in. Again, tastes absolutely fantastic. <coughs> it's real spicy actually. Jesus. For me, the favorite part of this is the beef. I really love fatty beef, and this is the beef brisket, I think. Um, so all of the beef in the, the, the neon nan, I think it's called, um, is always really succulent. Um, it's really succulent and soft, as it's the fatty part of the cow. So again, beautiful. I can't remember what this what this herb is called, but this is a herb I'm sure you all know. Um, this, this comes with the broth, so the broth is flavoured with all sorts of different things. May have put a little bit too much of the lajo in this, pretty spicy actually. It's all good. It's all good. So usually I'd go for the thicker noodles. I think I think these noodles are the mi fun. This is like the really thin, thinly cut noodles. Um, and these ones are really nice fried. These are normally fried with like carrots and some garlic, a little bit of egg, um, and some other things. As you can see, there's some cars having a party behind me. I'm not helping the video, but we go again. As you can see, a lot of the meals in China are very balanced. Uh, I'm trying to think what soup would I normally eat in the UK. It's normally just a soup, tomato soup with bread, bread with some other kind of soup. But the soups in China are very well balanced. They always come with a lot of greenery, uh, mostly carbs, mostly noodles, and a, a small amount of meat. So it's well balanced. Um, you're not going to put yourself at any health risk by eating this. Like with every kind of tang fun, my favourite part is drinking the soup. Uh, but my favourite part could also be the most dangerous part. Depending on how much la jiao you put in, the spicy sauce, you need to be careful because the soup is the tastiest part. Um, so try not to put too much spicy sauce in, otherwise um, your stomach won't be too comfortable. But again, the broth is like a combination of all the flavours. The soup is a combination. It's got the broth and the bones, the garlic, pepper, the spring onion, it's got the, the beef which has been boiling in there, the noodles, the lettuce, 
so the, so the soup is like a combination of all the flavours. And it's spicy. Oh. So, I'll try not to drink too much. Yeah, the soup is the colour of the lao gel. So the soup is kind of red right now. Um, as I put some spice in there. Bam bam. Beautiful. Okay, so just about finished up now, to be honest. I can't drink any more of that soup. It's way too spicy. Um, so I'm gonna grade this now. And to grade a meal like this, I need to think about uh, the value. The value and the taste, really. So again, this is Shu Wu Kui Tian. Um, which is about £1.60 so again it's really good value this is really filling this will fill me up for about four hours a solid four hours as there's so many carbs in there um, and taste taste is okay this isn't the best soup I've ever had to be honest the best restaurant for this kind of soup is is a couple of miles away um, so in terms of taste I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10 and in terms of value an 8 out of 10 so about a 7.5 overall you know, this is hearty food. Um, this is kind of the basic food of Guangdong, and yeah, I'm I'm left very satisfied. So, congratulations, Matthew. arrived at one of the Jiang Bay Parks. So this one reads Dongjiang Gongyuan. It's like the East River Park. Um, and this is one of the most beautiful parks in my city. Slow down. 
so you're probably wondering why most of my videos are orientated around walking around some sort of park um, well the city I actually live in which is Huizhou Guangdong which is south of China um, has actually been voted one of the cleanest cities to live in um, so they've made a huge effort here with making sure there's lots of parks um, and lots of green areas that you can go to pretty much every every community um, community area or, or blocks of apartments have have a park nearby that they can go to and take the family and go for a walk although a lot of the parks are man-made um, they're still very beautiful and still lots of trees lots of greenery um, so yeah it's, anyway, it's so so hot here it's about 36 degrees so I definitely can't stay here for any longer than five minutes so I'm going to take a short walk around the park and then take a quick e-bike journey home.